I was recently asked how the artist of this render might have done this look. Well, I do think that this is a product that either the artist made themselves or got somewhere and applied to the characters. We're going to do our best to recreate this look using nothing but the iRay Uber shader. So before we get started, you're going to want to search for a seamless lace pattern. I went and got this pattern. And seamless means that as the pattern goes off one edge, it is continued on the other. Because this is going to be tiled, you want that to be seamless. Next, I took it into Photoshop, put it in grayscale, and turned the contrast way up. So all of these darker parts are completely black. And I did two versions of it. One like this and one with more black cut out right here. And I'll show you what we're going to do with these in a second. So let's head into Daz Studio. You can put any character in your scene that you want. Just make sure they have the iRay Uber Base on all surfaces. Applying the Uber Base will by default keep all of the maps of your surfaces and values already applied. There are a number of different ways that you can get the look that we're trying for, and I'll make a few suggestions as we go along, but I'm just going to show you how I would do it. So first of all, you can select your character, and you could make a geometry shell and do the effects on that shell, but I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate nodes. And this makes a second character exactly in the same position as our first character. So let's just go ahead and with it selected, click on it again, and let's rename it Lace Shell. And then come into Surfaces, select Lace Shell, and select Skin. This is going to select all of your skin of your character. Then what we're going to do in Base Color, we're going to browse and find where we put that pattern. And next, we're going to scroll down and find Cutout Opacity. Browse, and let's put in that first, let's put in grayscale medium is what I call it. And on this, everything that's black is going to be completely cut out. Everything that is grayer is going to have less opacity, and everything that's white is going to have 100% opacity. And you can see, because this is in the same position as our other one, it's cutting out both of them. So what we're going to do now is with this selected, we're going to go to Create, New Push Modifier Weight Node and accept. And then we want to go to Tools and select our Node Weight Map Brush. And then in our Tool Settings, and if this isn't docked, you can hit right here and it will bring up your Tool Settings. Let's go to right here where it says Add Map under Weight Maps. Add Map, OK. And by default, it's going to give you a weight of 1. And that is going to push the surface one unit away from where it was. We don't want it that much away, so let's just go point, point 0.1. So now this is off of the same plane as our other model, so you're beginning to see it. So let's go back into surfaces on our lace shell. And you can go into both your base map, go into Image Editor, and change your instance tiling. Or you can just come all the way down here to where it says Horizontal Tiles. Let's put that up to 5. And Vertical Tiles, let's do to 5 as well. So already we've got a super cool looking effect. It was really easy to do. Let's. Uh, Let's try out our other cutout. I called it grayscale high, and you can see the difference. It's going to be cutting out all those parts that were blue right there. And that is looking super cool. 
So if you wanted to, you could end right there and it looks great. But for anyone who likes to get into those finer details, let's get a little more into it. So let's go back, select our push weight modifier again, go to tool settings, and let's push this back up to one. Then we're going to select our lace shell, right click out here, go to geometry selection, and select all. So then I'm going to select my push weight modifier again, and I'm going to right click again, go to weight editing, fill selected, and then I'm going to do this to 10%. So everything purple here is 10% of that one unit right there. And then with this brush, I can go in and start brushing on percentage which means it'll bring it away from the base model. And let's get out of eye ray. And then you can go in and like these detail parts along the clavicle, you can go and start to paint those away. My brush is 80 on the outer radius and it's 0.2 on the sensitivity. I think it's 0.3 by default, but that's a little too sensitive. So go in and find all those areas that would naturally be pulled away from the body and you'll want to paint on some weight. And if you, let's say, let's put this up a little bit and let's say you get too far out right here. If you hold down Alt, that's going to push it back in. And if you hold down Control, that's going to smooth it comparatively to everything that's around it. So I'm going to go in, let's go back to 0.2, and I'm gonna paint on the bridge of the nose. And then once we switch back to eye ray, So you can see this area right here is further away from the base layer and it's just those little details that give more life to your composition. Another way you can get some more detail is by selecting your base model and go into shaping and let's do some morphing on it. Let's bring up emaciate it a little bit. Let's just go 0.2. And emaciated is, in some areas, it's going to bring the mesh in. And in the harder areas, like the shoulders, it's going to stay the same. That way you get more dynamics to the spacing in between these two layers. And if you're paying a lot of attention to details, you're going to notice some seams right here where the surfaces meet, like the neck and the shoulder. And what you can do, go into Surface Selection Tool, select this surface and then in surfaces you can change the offset and then you can just find where it matches up seamlessly so if you're really into details here's what I did this is the UV map for the face of Genesis 2 female and I'm gonna put a link in the description where you can get this so I went in and tiled the lace pattern 3 by 3 so I'm just going to put this on screen. So what you want to do is, using the face UV map, you want to go into your tiled layer. So paint black anything that you want cut out of your character. And then turn this off and you can see these black areas are going to be cut out. So back in studio, I'm just going to select the face and I also made a 3x3 three three face tile so it matches up with my cutout. So I'm going to apply that to the base color and I'm going to go down to cutout. I'm going to find that face cutout. And you're going to want to put the tiling on one and one. So here I've rendered this out and you can see it's got a nice cut out around the eyes. I kind of missed the nostrils a little bit. I could go back in 
and fix that up a little better. And if you wanted to add the black lace look as well, just go in and you can make your base color black. Or you could change this to really whatever color you want. I think this is a way cool effect. We were able to do it using nothing but the iRay Uber shader. I would love to see what you guys can come up with. Put your renders in the user gallery. And if you do so, put a link to them in the comments below. I would love to see what you guys come up with.